Alright, welcome to another 3D Quick Tips tutorial video. This one's about using the symmetry modifier to get interesting shapes and then just showing the different tools that you tools and ways to use the symmetry modifier. So uh, let's get into it. Basically, symmetry modifier exists in the modifier list uh, under symmetry. So if you click this uh, you'll notice that our object has now become symmetrical. You know, we have these different settings for flipping the direction of the symmetry. So if we have it clicked here, it'll be mirroring from this side. If we have it clicked here, it'll be mirroring from that side, right? We can change the axis and flip each of those. And then here we have slice along mirror, which means that it will make a cut along the mirror line. And so usually we want to keep this on, so that way it'll weld the seam in between. Uh, the weld seam threshold, if you have a smaller object, you're going to notice that your vertices will start to do this. Uh, basically, make sure that if you are working in a very small scale, you type in a very small threshold for the mirror seam. Alright, cool. So now that we understand all those tools, another quick tip is if you press 1 on your keyboard, you'll notice that you select this symmetry mirror. And basically what this means now is that we can change the mirror plane to whatever we want. We can change the rotation, we can change the direction. And so we can start using this to play with getting more interesting and unique shapes. Now, if you're not using this for concept art and generating shapes and you're actually using it for production, a quick tip for using this is if we delete that modifier, we can actually select the edges that we want the mirroring to begin on. So you'll notice that if we wanted this to stay the same width here, if we mirror it, it got smaller, right? Because the pivot point is where the mirror is being generated from. So what we can do to change this is we can either press 1 and move this over to here and snap it, or we can just click from the beginning, click the edge, and mirror it. And so I have a hotkey for the symmetry modifier, by the way. It's uh, control S, which I know is probably weird. But yeah, and then I also have collapse as control E. So that way I can just quickly symmetry and collapse that model, right? So I'll just demonstrate on a few other objects. So here we, well, let's reset the X forms on this. So if we had a symmetry modifier here, let me change it to the z-axis, press 1. We can press flip, and you'll see that we'll start getting some cool shapes that we could work with. And then we can press 1 again. You can see that we can start getting some interesting shapes that we can play with. And then we can go back to the first one. Maybe make it more of an angled piece. We can add a symmetry modifier here and do the same stuff. So you can see that if you want, you can take a shape and start getting some more unique shapes out of it. Uh, it's not a bad way to mess around trying to make something new and ideate. And I often like to do this when I'm trying to think of things that I never could think of doing normally or consciously. And you know, if you keep your geometry super low, you could probably start getting some really crazy forms to play with really easily and then you could turn it into a production asset with just a little bit of cleanup uh, but yeah so hopefully some people find this helpful and use it for either concepting or just actual production work I think it's probably one of the most powerful tools in Max and one of my uh, favorite things about Max also before I end this tutorial another quick tip is 
If you want to work non-destructively with the symmetry modifier, you can do this basically. So you add the symmetry and you are going to go down to edit poly, show end result, toggle that on. And sometimes what will happen is you may have a cage. Let me see if I can get the cage to show up. Yep. And so what you can do is just turn off show cage and it'll get rid of uh, the orange border that you're going to be getting. Uh, but yeah, and then you can just keep this at the top. I personally collapse my modifiers a lot, even though it seems pretty destructive. I'm usually working on symmetrical models, so it's kind of up to you how you want to work. Um, but yeah, hopefully people find this helpful, and if you have any questions or comments, feel free to let me know below.